Astro Boy. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about both Astro Boy games on the PS2. Astro Boy is unique, but not in the good sense. The game is a series of boss battles. That's the main game. You don't even fight small fry on your way to the boss. You travel a sandbox area to find a character you have to talk to and then jump into a boss fight. And not only that the game consists 90% of boss fights, but there are only 6 of them. And not only that there are only 6 boss battles in the game, but fights are very straightforward and easy too. Astro Boy has 7 different abilities you can unlock, but those abilities are useless, since you can take down almost all of the bosses with regular attacks anyway. Optionally, you can collect cards either from breakable objects or from flying through rings or from playing Simon likes pattern magic pattern matching games but since the core gameplay is so lousy you will most probably not have the motivation to do the extras Astro Boy the video game combines two genres beat em up and shoot em up and does in neither a good job the gameplay is mediocre Controls don't feel good, they sometimes feel unresponsive or stiff, and there is a general lack of animations. Also the graphics are horrible, and the more you play, the more repetitive the game feels and you lose even more interest. The core mechanics are good, but unfortunately the execution is horrendous. The bad controls and the repetitive gameplay kill the game on the long run. At least for a movie tie-in game, it gets the checks, as tie-in games usually are bad, and this one respects that tradition. So, as a general conclusion about the two games, if you see them, avoid them, unless you want to play bad games.